promised, we're going to watch a really interesting story together. And we will talk about it. Uh, I think it's about a princess. Uh, yeah, of course, story is about a princess. So, but first of all, let's learn a bit grammar. And after that, we will watch the story together. Okay? Okay, teachers. Well, okay. Let me start sharing. Okay, and this is well. Okay, so this session we're going to learn some adjectives. Adjectives? Do you know the meaning of adjective? Do you know what the adjective is? No. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> A word that describes a noun is adjective. For example, I say beautiful girl. Beautiful is an adjective. I say, for example, black. No, black is color. Of course, colors can be considered as adjective. But let me say another word. For example, I can say interesting movie, exciting trip or a journey, exciting, interesting. They are adjectives. It means they talk about a word, a noun. They describe, they explain a noun. For example, I can say old man. Let me write here. For example, old man or young woman or beautiful girl or for example, you say. Hmm. Pretty, pretty girl. Pretty, pretty girl, girl, of course. Very good. Of course, that's very good. Okay. Well, these words, let me underline them. Okay. Let me choose your favorite color. Was purple? Mm, no, I like. Ooh, I like blue. Yes. Blue. Okay, okay. So let me change it to blue. Sorry. So blue, blue, and blue. So these words are called adjectives because they describe a noun. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's on the. I don't know. What is that, too? Okay. Oh, you don't know? Yes, my dad boy for me, and I don't know, yes. Yeah, good for you. So you have a great dad. Okay, well, as you can see, these words describe another word, now the noun, so they are adjectives. But we have different adjectives, so we have different adjectives. Now we're going to learn a kind, you know, two types of adjectives. Okay, so can you turn it on? Can you turn this? Can you turn it on? So this is study light. If you can, ha, huh, this is study light. Okay, so this is study light. Okay. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is study light. So. So, because I think you can turn it on, so I think this is starter light. Okay. Well, now, oh, yes, this is a starter light. Okay, well, now let's keep going. Which are adjectives? Okay. ED adjectives and ING adjectives. Okay. Sarah, sometimes we can make some words using ed or ing so we can add ed or ing to another word to make an adjective for example i say interesting 
Oh, what is this? The thing. Oh. Interesting. Or I say exciting. Or I say boring. boring. Or I say tiring. Okay, so these words, let me put this one here. Okay, these words are also adjectives, but we have another form of these adjectives like interested, like excited, like bored, like tired. Okay, so but what's the difference? Now we're going to learn the difference. <clears throat> so when I say bored, this adjective describe actually something about me, about people, how I feel. For example, I say, oh, I'm really bored. This really movie bored? was really boring. So I am bored. I am interested. So if you want to talk about someone's feeling, you use E, the adjectives. For example, you say, I am interested in English. Let me write here. Please. Oh. Let me write. I'm interested in, for example, English. English because because English oh. is interesting because English is interesting so I have two words that are the same interest interest but this is interested the second one is interesting What's the difference? So, when I'm talking about a person, how someone feels, I use E, the adjectives. I'm interested. You are excited. For example, your dad is bored. And when I'm talking about things, I use ing because English is interesting. And not another one. For example, I say, oh, I feel bored because this movie is really boring. Okay, because this movie is really boring, so I feel bored. Okay, it's your turn. You make a sentence using, for example, tired and tiring, or excited and exciting. Okay, um, I... Um... I feel, I feel, hmm. I feel, hmm. I feel tired. Yes, I feel tired. I feel tired because Today, I'm, I'm very tiring. Okay, because today was really tiring. Or for example, you can say because everything was really tiring today. Because everything was really tiring. Because today was really tiring. It means I had lots of things so to do, so it was tiring. Okay, very good. And you can say, oh, I'm really excited because this story is really exciting. The story is exciting, so it makes me excited. Get it? Okay. Well, now let me open the book. 
OK, well. So look at these uh, examples and circle the correct one. ING or ED? Mm. OK, so number one. Would you read it, please? Um, the keys are exciting or excited, excited to Very. go to the show. Very good or excited to go to the show. Number two. The women are playing and excited to. No, I think exciting. I think it's OK, let's read. First, this is women. It means two, three, four, five women. So women. The women are playing an exciting soccer game because this word is related to soccer game. So exciting soccer game. Number three. Mm, my brother is reading and excited. 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 So excited book. My brother is reading and exciting book, book or excited book. Exciting book. Excited. Wow. Okay. Excited. So this one. Exciting. So because let me explain something. Sarah, we use these words before another word, okay, or sometimes after B. For example, I am excited. But here, my brother is reading and this word is related to book, related to book. It means it describes book. So, exciting book, because book is thing. So, we say exciting book, okay? Okay. And the last one, we are... Hmm. We are excited. Hmm. Excited? Very good. We are excited because we are talking about ourselves. Very good. Well, now we have some other words. Bored, boring, interested, interesting, excited, exciting. May I ask you to make some sentences using these adjectives? Yes. Thank you. Mm. I um, I bore it because because um, because my dog are boring because my oh, dog is boring. Is, your dog is boring. Yeah. <laughs> really? My dog is boring. Why really? Really is boring? Yes, because they don't have anyone to play with him. Oh, so, oh, let me explain something. Okay, let me explain. That is really important, okay? When we say my dog is boring, it means it makes me bored. It means your dog makes you bored. What does it mean? It means, for example, your dog doesn't want to play and just sleep and doesn't move. So this means boring. OK, when you say I'm bored, it means I'm bored because this movie is boring. It means, you know, I don't like it. It's really boring, you know. It's not a good movie. So when you say boring, it means it's not 
So when you say your dog is boring, it means your dog is not a good dog. You mean, get it? Okay. Okay, so your dog, your dog is bored because no one plays with him or her. Okay, I don't know. Okay, tell me, is your dog girl or a boy? Boy. Okay, so, so your dog is bored because no one plays with him. So he's bored. Okay? Okay. And boring, movie is boring, book is boring. For example, I think math class is really boring. So I feel bored in math class. Okay? Okay. It means I don't like it. Okay, so interested, interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, so interested and interesting. Now another example. Teacher, what do you mean? I closed the doors. I closed the Of course, dear. Okay. Okay. Well, interested and interesting. <coughs> Are you okay? Of course, you know, just coughing. <coughs> I'm sorry, just a bit coffee. Okay. Okay, keep going. Well. So we have two other words, interested and interesting. Let's make two other examples. Mm. I very interest. I'm very interested because my toys are interesting. That's great, that's great. But let me say something else. When you use interested, you say, okay, let me change the color of this to blue. So you say, I'm interested in toys because for example, toys are interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So you say I'm interested in toys. So you say interested in. Okay. Okay. Great. Excited and exciting. Now. Okay. Let's make two other examples. So maybe one using excited and exciting. Hmm. Excited and exciting? Hmm. Yeah, of course. I'm exciting in, in crayon. Because crayon, crayons are interesting. Okay, let's make it again. Just in is only used for interested, just interested, not for excited. Okay, so you say I'm excited because, because for example, for example, painting with crayons is really exciting. Okay. Okay, would you make another one, please? Mm. I'm in, I'm excited because, because, 
My crayon or my crayons is okay. My crayons, okay. Are exciting? Yes, my crayon are exciting. Of course, but you know, your crayons are, uh, you know, I think it's better to say painting with crayons is exciting, you know? You have very good crayons and you think for, you think painting with crayons is really exciting, okay? Okay. Excellent, much smart girl. Okay, tell me, do you understand this one? Clearly? Get it? Yes? Any yes. questions about it? No. Great, well. I'm going to play an audio, okay, and I ask you to circle or to remember the word you hear, okay? So okay. look at the word and give me a moment to play it. Um. No, it's not. Oxford, Oxford Discover, okay. Well, number... One five, I think this one. Page 14. Listening. A. Listen. Circle the words you hear. One. Here we are in Cairo, Egypt, to show you how joyful and fun an Egyptian wedding can be. The happy couple is with me now. Their names are Ali and Nadia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You just finished the wedding ceremony, is that right? Yes, that's right. Now we're going to the hotel to celebrate. Two. Okay, first, let's find the words that you heard in the first dialect. So tell me, what words did you hear? Wedding. Mm. Wedding. Wedding, of course, and another one. Can you remember... Um, celebrate. Celebrate. And any other word? Fair. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's do something. Let's listen again. Okay, and you help me to underline the words. Okay? Okay. Okay, but you know, when you show me your study light, I want to have the same one, but I don't. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. You have a beautiful one, and I don't. <laughs> it's cat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, it has a fan. Oh, it's really cute. I like it. It's half free level. Level one. Wow. No way. Three yeah. levels. And Good this you. is the light. It's but <laughs> of course I don't need a fan now because it's freezing here. So, <laughs> so you can use it. Okay. Well, but good for you. Okay. It's wow. is it, wait, is it level three? Oh, is a fan. Oh, oh. Three, level two, level one. Wow, that's great. So that's really good. Okay, well, let's play again. Listen carefully. At the hotel. Okay, just give me a moment from the beginning. Again from the beginning. Just pay attention. Page 14. Listening. A. Listen. Circle the words you hear. One. Here we are in Cairo, Egypt, to show you how joyful and fun an Egyptian wedding can be. The happy couple is with me now. Their names are Ali and Nadia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You just finished the wedding ceremony, is that right? Yes, that's right. Now we're going to the hotel to celebrate. Okay, so what words? Wedding and? Celebrate. Celebrate and? Egypt. Yeah, we heard this one at the beginning. Number two. 
Hmm. Two. At the hotel, Ali and Nadia walk in with their family and friends. Suddenly, a group of drummers begins playing and singing on each side of the couple. This is called a zephyr. Ali and Nadia begin to dance. Their good friends dance in a circle around them. The dancing can last up to an hour. <laughs> What words you heard? Mm, hour. Hour, excellent, and? Singing and drummers. Very good. Singing good job. So you deserve, okay, something, but after the last part, so. Three. After the zephyr, we all go to the dinner. It looks delicious. And of course, everyone is very hungry. I see kebabs, grilled chicken, fish and rice. And there is the beautiful wedding cake, which Ali and Nadia cut for dessert. After dinner, there is even more dancing. Ali and Nadia, thank you for inviting me to your wedding. It was exciting. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, so number three. Hmm. What words? Cake? Yep, cake and? Exciting. And another, just one. Chicken? Wow, good job. Okay, so let me, okay, show you a good reaction because you deserved. Okay, so let me show my reaction. Okay, that's for you. Clap. Okay, well, so keep going. Next part, listen again and circle the correct answer. Number one, where is the wedding? Number two, who makes music at the hotel? And number three, what will they cut for dessert? Okay? Okay. Well... Page 14. Listening. A. Listen. Circle the words you hear. 1. Here we are in Cairo, Egypt, to show you how joyful and fun an Egyptian wedding can be. The happy couple is with me now. Their names are Ali and Nadia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You just finished the wedding ceremony, is that right? Yes, that's right. Now we're going to the hotel to celebrate. Two. At the hotel, Ali and Nadia walk in with their family and friends. Suddenly, a group of drummers begins playing and singing on each side of the couple. This is called a zephyr. Ali and Nadia begin to dance. Their good friends dance in a circle around them. The dancing can last up to an hour. Three. After the zephyr, we all go to the dinner. It looks delicious, and of course, everyone is very hungry. I see kebabs, grilled chicken, fish and rice, and there is the beautiful wedding cake, which Ali and Nadia cut for dessert. After dinner, there is even more dancing. Ali and Nadia, thank you for inviting me to your wedding. It was exciting. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Well, number one, Egypt. Well, very good. Good job. Number two, mm, drummers. Yup. And number three, okay. Good job. Okay, you deserve something else. So, are you ready to watch something interesting together? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Joss, you need to listen and watch carefully because after watching, I will ask you some questions. Well, give me a moment to share my screen again. I hope you like it. Oh, Rose Pencil. Yes, yes, I like it. I like it. Okay. In a land far, far away, there was a princess with long red hair. 
This princess had a beautiful flower garden. The red roses especially were giving great happiness to the princess. In the evening, when the people in the country went to bed to fall asleep, the rose princess would go out to the balcony of the palace and clap her hands three times. Hearing this sound, a tiny golden bird flew into the rose princess's hand. And at that moment, the princess's hair began to shine brightly. The cute bird began to sing beautifully. And the princess was singing a lullaby with her velvet voice. Everyone who heard this beautiful lullaby of the princess would slowly close their eyes and fall asleep immediately. It's time to say good night. Sweet dreams and good night, beautiful people of my country. While the nights were passing in peace and joy, thank. Rose Princess. One day, a witch came to the palace of the Rose Princess with a flying broom. La -da 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 -da. I can't stand this princess singing anymore. I'm fed up. Et c'est parti pour le chantier. Il y a beaucoup de travaux à faire ici. The frowning witch decided to cast an evil spell on the princess. Elakazam! Palakazam! Let the roses wither! Let the rose princess be silent! At that moment, the princess's hair turned into black as coal black. <gasps> What's going on with my hair? They're all black! And it's now bedtime! Ugh! The princess with her black hair went out to the balcony to sing a lullaby to her people. She clapped her hands three times. The golden little bird flew again and landed in her hand. Rose princess's black hair was shining again. Although the princess wondered what happened to her red hair, she started to sing her lullaby with the bird. Close your eyes Everyone in the country fell into a deep sleep. But instead of good dreams, they had terrible nightmares. There were even children who woke up crying. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> I had a very scary dream. I don't want to sleep at night anymore. My dreams are so scary. So are mine. In the evening of the next day, the Rose Princess, who learned that her people were having nightmares, went back to her balcony and called her golden little bird. My little bird, my people are tired of having nightmares. Help me to heal their dreams before morning. Let the roses make your hair smile. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Let the roses make your hair smile. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Roses make my hair smile. Hmm. With the bird's advice, the princess filled a large tub with water. She also put a handful of red rose petals in it. The water has turned red. The princess dipped her hair in this water. The hair turned red at that very moment. <laughs> uh, roses made my hair smile. The little bird was telling the truth. Hooray! <laughs> that night, when the princess sang a lullaby, Close your eyes everyone in the country slept peacefully. 
and had beautiful dreams. Realizing that the spell she had cast on the Rose Princess was broken, the Frowning Witch got angry and cursed her once again. Alakazam! Alakazam! Let the roses wither! Let the Rose Princess be silent! Then, she withered all the rosebuds in the country and fled. <laughs> Rose Princess was very upset when she saw that her hair was coal black again. Oh, no way, again? Oh, what is happening to me? <laughs> The princess asked her assistant to bring rose petals immediately to fix her hair. However, the assistants could not find even a single rose in the garden or the country. What am I going to do now, little bird? Tell me, huh? Let the roses make your hair smile. Do -de 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 -de. But there's not even a single rose in the whole country. Wait, don't go! <laughs> Rose Princess was so upset that she started to cry loudly. The tears flowing from her eyes have fallen to the ground. At that time, there was a young and handsome man passing through the palace garden. When this young man saw the tears falling to the ground, he took out a box from his pocket, and inside there was a thin red strand of hair. left the strand of red hair on the tears on the ground. A strand of red hair turned into a sparkling red rose in an instant. The handsome man took the rose and went to the princess. The princess, who was sadly standing by the bathtub full of water, was very excited when she saw the handsome man entering. <gasps> you! I remember you! Yes, I am your childhood friend. This flower is for you. Please accept it, my rose princess. The princess was so happy when she saw the red rose her childhood friend brought her. Immediately after, she threw the rose into the tub. She then dipped her hair in water. And finally, the witch's curse was broken. That coal black hair has turned red again. Seeing the happiness of his daughter, the king is very curious. Young man, please tell me, how did you find this rose when there was not a single rose left in the whole country? This rose was formed with the sad tears of our princess and a strand of her red hair that I kept since childhood. My dear king, my loyalty is endless. That's right, Daddy. Look, I've been keeping a strand of his hair in this box for years, too. The king was impressed by the loyalty of both the princess and the young man. Thus, the rose princess and her childhood friend, the handsome man, got married the very next day. Realizing that her curse was broken by the power of love, the witch realized that she could never win again and flew to the lands far, far away. Okay, how was that? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Okay, yes, I did. So, as I told you, we have three words here. Yes, I did. Okay, well... So let's talk about it. Okay, first question. So let me, okay, raise this bird and clean the bird. Okay, well, the first question, what is the story about? Mm. Like uh, the princess? Yes. The rose princess. Rose Princess? Um, Rose Princess? Wait a 
What? And, well, what did and what did Francis do every night? Um, she are you playing? What are you doing there? No, I I do doing what I I do a lot. I do what? Okay. Hmm. Okay. What did Francis do every night? Um, like a uh, clap, clap hands three times. The gold, oh. the little golden bird. Um, of course, a tiny golden bird. Tiny means small, very small. So tiny golden bird came and started singing. And okay. the princess singing too, and the village, I uh, know the people in the village can sleep. Of course, and how was princess's voice? Well, hmm. wet voice. It means very beautiful. So she had well wet voice. It means very beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice too. So what did you say? I couldn't hear. Hmm. What? You said something, but I couldn't hear. Would you say again? About well wet voice. The voice? Yeah, I said she had a great voice, and what you said? Um, she, I very like her voice. Of course, of course, me too. That was really great. Well, and the next question. What happened then? So Princess had beautiful voice and beautiful hair. Shiny yeah. hair, shiny hair. But what happened to her shiny hair? Um, what did you say? I can hear. Okay, a very bad witch, a very bad witch. Yes, very bad who witch. Who could, yeah, of course, who could curse, who could curse, it means say some magic words, so this means curse, okay? So, a really bad witch with flying, flying broom. Do you remember she had a flying broom so she could fly? Yes. Came and <sighs> and what did and what and what what did to Francis? What the the hair of Princess R B? Hmm. Be black. Of course. So very bad witch cursed, cursed princess, and princess is her turned turned into black. Turned into it means change to black. Okay, well, why? Why the witch did this? Why? Um, Sarah, may I ask you to look at me when I'm talking to you? Why? Okay, so first question, what are you looking at? Tell me. I'm looking my iPad to do that. To do what? This one. What is this? Oh, you playing? This is a game? Yes, and I, I, I need to do that. 
OK, so why do you need to do that at this time when you have a class? Why? So can't you do this after class? Yes, it, OK, I, I need to put that away. OK, OK, if you want, I can wait for you so that you can finish it and then we can talk. OK, OK, but I can I, I can I can. Yes, OK. OK, we talk. OK, let's talk. So I asked you why the witch did this to the princess. Why? Because the princess always singing and the princess don't like her voice and the princess oh. beat up yeah fed up because okay she fed up it means she was bored you know she said you know i'm fed up it means i'm bored so because of this she cursed it means said some magic words so she cursed the princess okay well and how how could princess break the curse mm, the princess used some red rose and put the put in the bath and the princess um like put the head in the bath dipped. okay so dipped oh, i'm sorry say dip. okay dipped okay dipped. dipped yeah dipped okay her her in the water in the red water rose water and suddenly the curse broke okay another one another so the verb is dip okay and past form is dipped because this is past we say dip okay and another question tell me when when the witch cursed princess what happened to the people of country what happened? Mm, the people in the country can't sleep and when they sleep, they like dream the nightmare. They had nightmares, of course. When they slept, they had really bad nightmares. Okay, well, and again, after that, when the witch cursed princess again what happened who helped princess to break this curse one the, the young man's one young man and like they he's um used the wand one one like one strength yep. we call this look this one, for example, this part of my hair, this is a strand of her. So, okay. our hair includes, contain lots of strands. So, this is one a strand, look, one a strand. Okay, so very good. And a young man had a strand of the princess's hair. And, and like, this is a hair, like this is a hair they put, He's put, and this is a tears of tears, her, her, her sister, but, and they make a flower, a red rose. Wow, very good. Of course, when the young man saw Princess was crying, he actually opened the box that he had and take out a strand of her, and then, of course, put the strand of her in the tears. Yeah, and suddenly a really beautiful rose grew. And again, hmm. curse was broken. Okay, so tell me, what did we learn from the story? learn from a story don't don't be don't be bad like of course. A, just like a um, like a witch of 
course, of course, don't be bad. Don't be mean like a witch. That's great. Excellent. Well, OK, my dear Sarah, tell me, how was this story? What? How was this story? The story like. Interesting, boring, yes. very, exciting. Very interesting. Very interesting. OK, do you have any idea for next session that we have another story? If you have, we can watch it together. So what story do you like to watch? Um. I very like I I, I like cartoon princess. Uh, I don't like princess in the life. Like yes. I don't like voice princess, but I like a cartoon princess. I don't know why. Okay, so you like princess or you don't like princess? I like watch cartoon princess. You but I like. The yeah, you like to watch cartoons, of course. OK, well, and what is your favorite one? I have many favorite, but I don't know what is in English. Oh, you don't know? OK, so <laughs> so but they have English name. They don't. What is this? I can't see it. The movies, the cartoons. Yeah, the Oh, cars! You like this one? Yes, I like it. My um, my my grandpa, my grandpa from USA. Yeah, of course. This is a really interesting animation. I like it too. Okay, well, okay, my dear Sarah, do you have any questions? Any issues related to this part? What teachers I can hear? Wait, do you have any questions? Something that you want to ask me? No. Okay, well, Sarah, I will send you a worksheet and I ask you to do it, okay? And send me your answers, okay? Okay. Thank you so much, my dear. And have a great night and sweet dreams. See you next session. Bye bye, teacher. Oh wait, wait a minute. I I I don't I don't have dreams. Oh, I, you don't have? Yes, I always and no, I almost never has dream. Oh, that's great. Really? No yeah. way. Ah, that's really interesting. Of course, you know, you know, I I can say it's you know I have uh. Not all the time, but I dream rarely, I can say. But, you know, sometimes I see, you know, sometimes I dream. But that's really interesting that you don't dream <laughs> at all. That's really interesting. So have a great, great, great night, my dear, without dreams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And Goodbye. Away, teachers. Of like, course, I'm here with you. When I dream, I dream very big dream and very good dream. Like oh. one time, I dream, I dream, I like I a king. I'm oh. a king. Yes, I'm a king. I can do anything. I can fly. I can swim. But it's like a, I can swim. But I, but I, but I can. I can. Breathe, breath in the ocean. Wow, in the ocean. Yes. Such a great dream. So you, you were a queen because king is a man normally. So you should be a queen because you're a beautiful girl. So you were a queen who could swim in the ocean and could breathe under the water. That, that's really good. Good dream. I want to have, you know, and I, I remember. And, and a lion, the shark, a whale scared me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. I like Very it. interesting. Yeah, of course, that's really exciting, I think. Exciting, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, my dear. 
Okay. Goodbye, my dear. Maybe tonight you have sweet dreams. <laughs> Just try it. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, my dear.